Okay, got myself a lozenge and we're ready to go. I don't think I randomly got sick. I just need a lozenge sometimes. Current lift heights, how they lift you with the numbers reported on them, but just hang on a moment while I get some backup supplies and then we're gonna do the secret level properly, or the secret exit properly. So I have to actually go in that pipe. That's where it's gonna go. And we're gonna do things, a lot of things in there. Just trust me on this. I think you may have some idea where the secret is already. I mean, you saw the keyhole. I'm pretty sure you did. We just need the keys location. It's somewhere in here, I believe. Duba 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 new Super Mario Brothers. I still don't get how, like, I understand how there's like music changes when it comes to like using the same sound font, but porting the music directly into a Super Nintendo cartridge is still blowing my mind. Like, there's probably enough space in there, but this feels like MP3 quality. I think that's what's getting me. So there's some sort of trick. Yeah, you're gonna have to bring your key up the vine. There's no way around that. I mean, maybe there isn't. Oh, wait, there's another level before we can go in that pipe. Oh shit. Michael Bublé's tunnels. Those are the best kind. Oh, wait, no, okay. So it's the bubbles with the, um, from that one level, Force of Illusion. Okay. And it's this music again that I believe we heard in Scarlet Deeps. Yeah, the level names are less interesting and more just describe what's probably about to happen. Well, I kind of miss that thing where it's just like, name in the world, and then number. That is the one thing you wanted to wait for. My lozenge keeping you company. Slowing you down like the world slows down. I'm sorry, switch blocks that I'm going to fill in. I'm probably not returning to those levels after I get them. I suppose maybe I could if I couldn't get the dragon coins right away, but I assure you, I most definitely can. So why bother me this way? I don't know. Either way, I always try to go through the switch palaces as soon as possible. Just to make sure that the rest of the game remains fair. So to speak. Or perhaps a little more fair, but in my biased direction. Which is unfair, but for the reason that makes it easy on me. Like, no one ever says a game is unfair because it's too easy, do they? Or, well, maybe they do. I don't hear it enough, however. Um, this bitrate's probably gonna totally suck right now. I'm sorry in advance. That's just how this water works. All the, the waters that work really hard and the plant that jumps from somewhere in the wall. Yep. That's another one of those glitches in the Matrix. I'm bringing that back. Although the hole in the wall is kind of a glitch in the Matrix, but it's not really a glitch. That was just a user or creator error. It's like, error between... Error between, uh... Error between chair and keyboard is what we call that. Whew. Now we get to go into the pipe to the great beyond. Mario will not be coming back from the afterlife. I hope I remember how to press B to enter things. It'd be sad if I could not. Where you expect me to go? I'm actually just right over here now. <laughs> sports! Oh man, this was just like in Classic Mario World 3. There was a sports level when I just had to warp up somewhere. From the same world, mind you. Also, for some reason, sports is represented by Blaster Master for the NES. I would recommend you play Blaster Master Zero instead. The game is so much fairer. For one thing, as a save system. Yeah, you try playing Blaster Master without the ability to save. That's probably why a lot of people hadn't heard of it at first, because it's like, what, this game? But no one could save back then, so you had to leave the console on, and yeah. Eventually, your life would be ruined. But yeah, there's three of those Blaster Master games now, and I feel like I need to get my hands on all three. I have one. I'd like it again for the PC so I can record it for you, actually. It's a goal of mine. Uh, I don't know, let's, let's just say there's a lot of things I could be doing. 
if I somehow become totally rich by my wealth genes. I mean, I do have a savings thing, but I tend not to use the savings unless I really, really need it. Like, say, let's say a health emergency. That's when we tap into that thing. Or if there's, like, a flash flood. Although, I don't think a flood's gonna ever reach me. Not that I'm on a mountain, per se, but if you're at a high enough elevation, the water's gonna go down around you first before it reaches you, so it's gonna have to fill up a lot of lower ground to get up here. That's what I think. So as long as you're not below sea level, I guess you're okay, then. This was a short level. Enjoy. Thanks, Mario! Now stuff the mushroom in your face! Wahoo! Yum, yum, yum! Delicioso! Ooh, snake block kills. Should I go back and get my capes? Looks like I'm feeling confident. Alright! So, as you might have guessed, we have snake blocks. And, uh, unlike most snake blocks, this one will just undo itself. It's not going to keep moving. It's just going to be erased by its own volition. Brought to you by the number four. It's like the fourth time I've heard this music, too, I think. Three or four. Both good. Where's your Wario playthrough? Shush. I know how much I like the Wario games. You don't have to tell me about them. Believe me. When I say the clouds' faces are green today because they have inhaled toxic goop. Hmm. Well, I did get the feather that I wanted. Now we carefully time this jump because of the floating question block. I like to see that shell. Sh the sheller brother. The shell bros. I like to see the shell bros throw that into the flying question block and see if there's anything inside it like a one-up, maybe. I'm not here to test all the things that are what have you. Oh! There we go. Boomerang man. And shell man. I don't know who's more annoying, but the shell man at least gives me shells as ammunition back against the forces of Koopa. The Koopa Troopa. And the Supa Poopa Troopa. Who wants the soup? Oh no, arbitrary wait times! Yay! This'll make speedrunners happy. Speedrunners' true final boss, the loading screen. Yep. Oh man. Oh, I guess we gotta wait again. But at least this jump will be guaranteed. There we are. Take it away, take it away now. Oh boy, with the unlimited power of cape soda, I can become many capes. So many capes, you won't know what to do with them. So capeful. So escapeful. I thought about running an escape room, but I realized what the actual downside of that is. Because I want to be like the guy that's like, you know, there's a voice in the screen that's like, Hello, guests. Could you escape from my room? Ha 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 And then cl close call. Um, but no, uh, the cleaning up after each... After each uh, party. And, like, resetting the room. I think that's what would annoy me the most. But, but still, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Like, I would... I think I would... I think I'd get away with doing that. Why not? Carrot lift heights for real this time. But nah, man, if you run an escape room, I want to try to run shit, okay? I, I just thought about it when I realized Riddler and the Harley Quinn show was doing it. It's like, oh, cool. It's like, man, give me that shit any day. Drop on over to this place. Fly on over to this place. This place. How many times can I say the word place on this place way? I suppose it'll be hard to see the lines in a nearly black background, but it's kind of like a navy blue. Like, you know the color of the baseball team, the New York Yankees? It's not actually black. It's just a very dark blue, as it turns out. A midnight blue, if you'll 
if you'll pardon my expression of naming colors after concepts, every single color must have a name. It is an artistic law. Oh yeah, lately Gravity Circuit has been released, and um, it's basically a cool-ass Mega Man clone in our modern age. Um, you bet it's on my wish list. I'd like to cover it sometime for you guys too. I'm only like I'm only saying that just because it was recent, very recent. So I have an obligation to inform you. And we get all of the freaking money. We can get another cape. I know, but then I have to wait for like ages to get that back up. So we're just gonna keep going. At least long enough to get this other coin. Then we behold ourselves to risk and hope it never comes back to haunt us. This risky power. Uh oh. But I'm at the exit, so fuck all y'alls. So explain to me what would. <laughs> would that be another situation where I could. I don't know. Why is that block there? <laughs> I don't know, man. We just do things at random. Anyway, let's go to the random city. I mean, no. We're doing this level again, but I need the secret. Boop, 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 boop. Aha. I have put you into the penalty box for not playing hockey. Or fighting. Lots of body checking in Zamboni land. It's Zamboni land. Zamboni. Zamboni. Zamboni, 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 Zamboni. If I say it enough, it might become unrecognizable. So let me just stop you there. Uh, oh, are we still on like the Golden Mountain or whatever? I, I guess this is kind of gold, but this is more autumn? It's a very autumn place. Oh! Make the jump! Make it count! Bring all your life into it. Every time I jump, sometimes when it's a really hard jump, I try to make like a sound. I'm just like, Hah! assuming that'll actually help me jump better, but that could get annoying. It's kind of like when Bruce Lee is fighting, goes, Whoa! every time he throws a fist. Except that's supposed to be like a technique of, like an air consumption technique? I don't know. Maybe it's just a psychum, and honestly, can't blame him. Whoop. Yeah, that. Meanwhile, in Mortal Kombat, the Bruce Lee clone becomes God. Oh, yes. If you collect 30, 30 is the magic number for this one. Okay, I'm, I'm viable to play by the 30s rules. 30 rock it is. Ooh. You better float to safety, baby. Yeah, keep all that floating. Purposeful cape design. Keep going, never surrender. Make sure you land on things so that you can get on other things to land on. Oh boy, I wish I could have some solid ground this year! Oh! There we go. I'm on solid ground in a solid world. It's your solid. <laughs> Why are we calling it Delta? I don't know. I, th I think our game titles are getting more and more ridiculous. See Kingdom Hearts for more information. Hello, Mario. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to invade Lemmy's castle and destroy him once and for all. I prefer my Mario games shaken, not stirred. Actually, no, this is, um... I wonder if we're more referring to Goldeneye, but still, James Bond. Yes. <laughs> no, Mr. Mario. I expect you to diet on turtle soup. <laughs> I actually don't know the James Bond one-liners. You have to forgive me. I just remember seeing it a long time ago. Alright. What's your favorite James Bond movie? I don't have one in particular. There's a lot of good ones. <laughs> How's Daniel Craig these days? Also, did you know that I, Sean Connery, am in the afterlife? Did you know about this? By the way, I'm also a dragon. I've been respawned as a fucking dragon. Although, admittedly, 
you know, Sean Connery's not actually a squeaky clean person, so don't put him on a pedestal or anything. In fact, that's just good advice in general. Don't really put anything on a pedestal. Okay, the only things you want in a pedestal are trophies. Or people have won events, but only for that purpose, not like, I'm on the pedestal forever! I love pedestals! Yes, you do. Now shut the fuck up. <laughs> Diamonds are forever, bitch. <laughs> no, they're not. That's crazy talk, and you're crazy. I never want to speak to you or Sir Sean Connery again if I can help it in this lifetime or the next. Yeah. Yeah, I feel as bad about Sean Connery dying as David Bowie dying. Like, those are two big-ass celebrities that have left a mark on the world. Honestly, David Bowie more so. But no, we got some huge celebrity losses. And it's going to keep happening, because from what I understand, um, I'm having a hard time developing appreciation for newer celebrities, which is weird, because I should be doing that. I think my problem is, now the celebrities are younger than me. <laughs> so, I want to say there's some level of envy, or, or worse, where I'm just like, nah, man, I could totally act this movie, give me the part, I have experience, but... I'm not like that. I don't want your movie role. Thank you! You're welcome. Let me paint the castle red. I mean gold. I painted it off. Even with all the darkness and traps, the stealthy Mario defeated Lemmy Koopa in castle number five. Now an airship stand on his way before the pipe to the frozen skies. Ah! So the next world's going to be ice-themed. Good. It's not a Mario game without an ice world. It simply isn't done. I'm looking at you, original Super Mario World. Where the hell was your ice world? Talk about dropping the ball. They probably didn't know if people liked ice physics that much. That might have something to do with it. Anyway, an airship. Ooh. I'm making this part of the video, too. Plant field ship. It's a ship with plants in it. Ooh. You know what this music is? This is Mario Maker's rendition of Super Mario World's airship. Made exclusively for Mario Maker. Oh, Mario Maker 2, I should say. Mario Maker 2 is better than Mario Maker 1 in every possible way. Yeah. The thing about Mario Maker is, since we're going to have another Mario Maker discussion, is that... Um, I don't know how long the servers are going to last for all your creations, unless you save them locally, okay? So, you really should just try to figure out to save all your level creations in, like, micro SD cards or something, so that one day I could have a look at them. You know? What I'm saying is, Nintendo servers must be a game preservationist nightmare. And they are! They really are. Just look what happened to the Wii Shop. It's gone. You're not getting it back. There's some, like, digital-only stuff that's you can't get officially now. Like, uh, Castlevania Rebirth. That's a good example. Um, there's some Pokemon stuff, too. Plenty of things. I think that qualifies for the 3DS Shop, too, because the 3DS was a big deal. And I feel like the 3DS has finally faded away in Switch's shadow, even though the 3DS is very well received. I should know. I liked it even more than the regular DS. Although, that just turned out because the 3DS actually had a lot more good games. This is Boom Boom, by the way. But yeah, the 3DS had a lot more good games than the DS, because it, they stopped relying on, you know, gimmicks and just appealing to the casual player base. Although, it's not like you couldn't appeal to the casual player base. But they must have realized the mistake when smartphones became a thing, and they're like, "Oh shit. Question the orb. Question the power it gives you the power. Anyway, Boom Boom's easy. He should be mini-boss material, but we just shoved him in an airship and called it a day. Alright then, next time we will go to a cold, frozen place. 
And it's not just an ice world, it's a sky world. It's an ice sky world, so... Think of a really cold atmosphere, like Pluto or some shit. <laughs>